Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jake. I'm going to be taking a look at the Better Sleep Tuner on behalf of Sleep Sherpa. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this in a second. It's a brand new box, never been opened. But before I do that, I just want to talk a little bit about the features and why this product has me excited. If you're watching this video, you know sleep is important for your health, for your performance. And uh, the Better Sleep Tuner is really one of the more advanced products I've seen on the market. They talk about being like a sleep lab in your pocket. Based on that headline, I'm sold right away. I'm really excited to dig in and see if it's all that it's cracked up to be. It records blood oxygen saturation, optimal sleep position, which I'm really excited about. I'm a stomach sleeper. I'm excited to see some stats around that. Uh, it records if you stop breathing during the night, so if you have a condition, you're worried about that, it's supposed to help kind of track those type of things. It also does heart rate and sleep duration, among other things. You can get this on their website right now at bettersleep.com. That's better as it's in the name, B-E-D-D-R, sleep.com. Along with the device itself, you also get uh, the app, so the app is free on the iOS App Store. It also comes with a 14-day money-back guarantee and a one-year warranty, which is really nice. That is the high level, so let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what it looks like. So, based on the pictures that I've seen online, uh, it seems really small. Uh, so I'm kind of excited to see what it looks like in real life. So it's a relatively small package. Open this up. So it does say here it's made for iPhone. Uh, download on the App Store. It doesn't say anything about Android. And here is the product itself. Uh, it looks like it comes in a nice little case here. It's nice. Um, decently hard case. It's not like completely hard shell, but uh, hard enough where if you stepped on it or something, it wouldn't break. So let's go ahead and open this up. Wow, it is really tiny. It is tinier, so the pictures made it look really tiny, but it is even tinier than I thought. And you can see there's some adhesives here. So it comes with one, so there's six, so 12 adhesives. I don't know how long they last. I guess that's something I'll find out. So I'm gonna peel one of these guys off. It does appear very sticky. Um, so I'm guessing I just put this right on here. It looks like it lines up. I hope I'm doing this correctly. I didn't read the instructions. Pull this thing off. Okay. So now here is the sticky back. All right, let's try this on for size. There, how's it look? It's the first step to becoming a cyborg. It's not yet implanted in my brain. I'm just gonna stick it to my forehead. It's really kind of a simple package here. Um, comes with a charger. USB-C, which is pretty cool and modern. Um, charger feels pretty quality. Um, sometimes in these products you get really cheap chargers, which is always kind of frustrating. So I'll go ahead and peel this off. Oh, came off super easy. Um, didn't hurt at all. Uh, seems to stick on pretty well. I mean, it's not falling off super easily. And then, boom, comes right off. Piece of cake. Um, I'll be interested to see if it stays on throughout the whole night. Uh, I do toss and turn a little bit, so we'll see how that goes. Plugs right in. I'm going to go plug this in and let it charge for later tonight. I'm going to be using this over the next few days and I will give you an update after I've used the product for a little bit and let you know how it went. And I am back. I have done five sessions with the Better Sleep Tuner spread out over the, the past week or so. I'm excited to dig in and give you the full review. Overall, really great product uh, and really opened my eyes to a lot of things that no other sleep related products have. So I'm pretty impressed. Um, it gave me some not so good news, um, but I guess that is good news because now I know. Uh, but I have a little bit more trouble sleeping according to better than I thought I did. So the first night I you know stuck it to my forehead and uh, it stayed on almost the whole night. It fell off for maybe like the last hour of sleeping. I just peeled it off, put a brand new one on for the next night, and then just spent a little bit more time sort of pressing it into my forehead. And ever since that first experience, it hasn't fallen off at all. So uh, FYI, make sure you just kind of really give it a good pressure and stick it to your forehead if you're gonna be trying out, otherwise it could fall off. Otherwise it stayed on perfect. Diving into the app and talking about the overall experience of using the app and also some of the insights that I gained about my sleep, you can see on the top right hand side here, it says the device is connected. If the device is not connected, it does turn off if you haven't been using it. You just basically push down, it'll click, and then it'll automatically turn on and connect. I had no problems with the Bluetooth. Sometimes Bluetooth can be a little bit finicky. No problems with this device. It always connected very easily and very quickly. You can see there is the big tap here to start sleep assessment button. 
And that is something key to point out. You have to tell the app when you're falling asleep, and you also have to tell it when you wake up in the morning. It does not do any sort of auto detection of when you fall asleep. So just keep that in mind. Now switching over to insights, you can see each night I use the app listed here. My sleep was poor this night. It was actually poor every single day or every single night, excuse me, that I used better. There was some variance in the data, so some were less poor than others, but overall there's a lot I can do to improve my sleep. Digging into some of these stats, you can see there's duration, and it doesn't just show duration, but it actually shows you how you're sleeping. So if you're sleeping on your side or your back, you may notice here there's no option for stomach, and I did mention earlier in the video that I am a stomach sleeper. I'm pretty sure that it's registering as sleeping on my side when I'm sleeping on my stomach because my head is turned to the side, and I don't think it can detect where my body is positioned, so I think it's just interpreting that as side sleeping. But what is interesting is just see how much I switch back and forth between it at night, and it breaks it down by percentage. So going back some of the other stats, the biggest shocking one to me was the stopped breathing events. So this one actually isn't too bad compared to some of the other nights. Um, I have never had any concern about my breathing at night. Uh, this app really makes me think otherwise. According to this, I should definitely go get uh, maybe a formal sleep study done and get my breathing checked out by a doctor. Anything over five, which is this green mark, it recommends that you should probably seek help. So this night I had an average of eight stopped breathing events. If I go into some of these other days, it's actually worse. So this one is one of my worst sleeping. I only slept for five hours and 25 minutes. You can see that I had more stopped breathing events on this night, 13. Definitely something that I need to look into. And how those play together is they give you these stats down at the bottom. So you can see that I have fewer breathing events when sleeping on my side. So basically it's recommending that I spend more time sleeping on my side. And then here you can see the stats down below that break down where you're sleeping on your back or your side and the stopped breathing events. You can also switch and see all nights. After the stopped breathing event showed up on the app, I asked my partner the next morning if they had ever heard me gasp for air at night or anything, which is one of the, the symptoms if you do stop breathing, you kind of wake up going like gasping for air. And she kind of thought for a second and was like, yeah, actually I have a few times. I was like, that's crazy. I never had any concern about my breathing. And just last night, uh, so the fifth night I had used it, I actually caught myself. I woke up and I was gasping for air and I had never, um, never really thought about that in the past. I think it's happened a few times before, but I just never really registered that it was anything. I thought maybe I was having a bad dream, waking up gasping for air or something. Overall, using Better was extremely eye-opening. Shout out to Better for bringing this technology, something that I could just use in my bed. Um, really eye-opening, uh, probably information that I can use to improve my sleep over time and actually go see a doctor and get some more uh, detailed information about this. If you want to check out Better for yourself, you can get it at bedrsleep.com, so bettersleep.com. Right now it is $149. Um, if this type of stuff is up your alley, if you're interested in learning more about your sleep, I would definitely recommend checking it out. It provides some very unique information that other sleep trackers do not right now. And that's it. Thanks for checking out the video, and I will catch up with you next time. Head over to sleepsherpa.com for the detailed review of this and other sleep-related products, as well as discounts.